Welcome to the Google Cloud integration demo of Apranix. Before getting into the demo itself, I would like to uh, just to give you a brief introduction of Apranix. <clears throat> Apranix is a site reliability platform as a service to continuously deliver, protect, and optimize applications cloud infrastructure. Unlike those legacy cloud application uh, operation systems, uh, our technology combines application data automation together with infrastructure as code to radically accelerate application delivery, simplify cloud operations, and avoid cloud waste. We have been recognized by leading analysts as the industry first site reliability automation platform. Uh, we are also enterprise level secure uh, platform as a service with uh, 24 7 support. Uh, we have three different uh, service offerings uh, delivery service and protection service and third one is the optimization service I will go into the details of each and every one of these where delivery service is all about ability to uh, continuously build and deliver your cloud infrastructure for any application uh, we have application service catalog capability just like any other platforms but the key difference is that how we combine with a simple YAML templates uh, based infrastructure orchestration underneath, pretty much enabling you to do infrastructure DevOps uh, with versioning and rollback. Our protection service allows you to uh, protect your platforms as well as environments altogether uh, compared to other mechanisms available out there um, Apprentix uses cloud native snapshots to protect your platforms and the entire environment. Uh, you could use it for multiple use cases. Uh, one is obviously backup and recovery. Uh, we could also use it for cross cloud recovery as well, cross zone recovery, uh, including infrastructure rollback whenever you wanted to really deploy a newer version of your application along with your infrastructure. So plenty of um, firepower underneath to allow you to continuously protect and recover your cloud infrastructure. The optimized service offering gives you the base uh, infrastructure configuration management, um, automated tagging, uh, right sizing from an application-centric perspective, uh, the cool capabilities around self-healing where based on the monitoring information, uh, the system automatically self-heals your application infrastructure. You can uh, auto scale in a cloud neutral way of our platform how it works in the back end uh, with the Google Compute uh, Engine itself. So when you log into a Pranix Pass, you will see uh, applications that are packaged as so-called assemblies. Assemblies um, are a combination of infrastructure as code along with platform configurations and your application deployment pipeline information as well. So you can pretty much connect to your CI CD if necessary, uh, or you can simply deploy your uh, cloud neutral infrastructure for your applications. Uh, you will get an idea about uh, the availability as well as the cost information, just like what you see here over a period of time, you can get an overview of the cost. And uh, what we will do uh, among the three services that I outlined, we'll take uh, one crucial use case and go through some of the capabilities of the platform. Uh, let's take uh, an application. So when you look at an uh, open medical records application, um, as it is given here, you can see how the application components are connected to each other. Uh, basically outlining the dependency information between the components, that's very, very crucial when you go on and modify this application infrastructure at the back end. Uh, for the purpose of the demo, we are going to pick up a very simple application, an application that has a backend, a database, and a front end uh, with uh, Tomcat. And you can see number of uh, environments that have been created already. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a production environment group, and I'm going to create a new environment while working uh, with other, other use cases as well. So let's deploy a BR environment. Uh, for this particular application. Uh, you don't have to do much if you accept uh, the basic <coughs> and default uh, configurations. As you can see, you can deploy it across multiple clouds. So I'm going to pick up 
Google Demo US East 4, that is one of the uh, zones that we have selected in the back end. So when you create an environment with few clicks, uh, now it automatically pulls the latest design from the design uh, database uh, of your product and uh, it automatically uh, pulls in the latest infrastructure as code, uh, cookbooks in the back end to build the entire infrastructure for you. Uh, just to give you an idea how the back end is going to be constructed, uh, of the infrastructure, you can see this is the Google Cloud Platform. Uh, we have a couple of projects. So uh, looking at the virtual machines that have uh, already been created, you can see how those virtual machines have been automatically tagged uh, based on the organization structure that you might want to kind of enforce uh, so that you can find these uh, resources that are created on the GCP. Uh, I can see number of snapshots uh, created as well uh, based on our protect uh, service uh, configuration uh, policies in the back end. You can see full snapshots as well as uh, incremental snapshots based on uh, some of the application components uh, here. Uh, you can also see uh, you know, what are the operations that have been fired from. Uh, as you can see, the latest design has been pulled. Uh, you can simply go and commit and deploy uh, this environment. Uh, let it uh, build the environment at the back end. Uh, so this demonstrates the capability to deliver any of your application infrastructure on uh, the GCP. So let uh, the uh, bill of material or the deployment model gets created here. As you can see, uh, it properly orchestrates all the components uh, until the, uh, the the back end and then gives you an ability to, to deploy your application as well. So what we will do, we will start uh, the deployment and in parallel, we will also go into other aspects of the platform as well. So while the deployment is happening, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at pod and in this environment, you can see the same application and the application looks like uh, this in terms of um, how the infrastructure has been constructed for uh, the application uh, components. So compared to what you see here, when you go back to your compute engine, you will see a bunch of virtual machines, a bunch of uh, disks um, provided by the infrastructure as a service from Google. Uh, but when you uh, look from your application perspective, you'll see an end-to-end -end, um, uh, visibility uh, of how the components are connected so that you can take an action based on what's available, what's not available. So based on the monitoring information, these components will turn into either orange or red. Currently it's green, so everything is working okay. So what I'm going to do here is that from a protection uh, service perspective, I'm going to pick up <clears throat> Uh, a version of the application that was backed up, uh, particularly the database uh, platform. And then we'll take a restore of that uh, uh, version so that uh, you can see how um, up in our uh, brings back that version of the database, combines that with the latest version of the database instance itself and the rest of the application. The application itself uh, runs like this. It's a very simple user app. It has six different you know, users already created. What we are going to do by going back in time, we are going to pick up something from a couple of days ago and going to restore. So when you restore this back into the uh, blue prod environment, all you have to do is just click and go uh, so that the database gets restored back into uh, the right version of the application itself. So if you look at uh, how the deployment has been triggered, so you see this particular database uh, restore is happening. You'll also be able to track all the logs information in the backend, what's happening and so on. And uh, a new compute will be, uh, the compute will be automatically adjusted you know, with the new disks and the operating system will be automatically configured and the Postgres database itself from the right uh, release will be configured as well. So you can see uh, the changes um, uh, from um, the release release ID. You have a release ID that you can track. And based on the release ID, uh, you'll, uh, the system automatically pulls the right version corresponding to that particular um, you know, snapshot yeah, that was that was taken 
couple of days ago. So uh, the system will automatically configure all of that for you and make it ready so that you can go ahead and do whatever you wanted to do uh, in terms of application changes and so on. So right now there are two deployments that are happening uh, in the back end. Right? One is the fresh deployment, another one is um, a new uh, 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 deployment that is created from the backup itself. So you can see a number of uh, virtual uh, disks have been kind of uh, created on the, on the fly and uh, new virtual machines will be created based on the deployment or uh, an existing virtual machine uh, blue prod demo, the, the restoration is happening. So you can see the DR virtual machine has been uh, created now and the blue prod demo restore user app uh, will be uh, combined with the latest um, disk that is restored from uh, a couple of days ago. And in the back end, you can see number of operations that are going on, um, you know, um, based on the REST API calls that are happening. For example, if you go to um, live casting, you'll be able to track how the cost of the application over a period of time. So, um, you know, I deployed a couple of days ago. Um, as you can see, the you know, it's not much, you know, uh, a very simple uh, application. So the cost is very, very low. And based on the information, you can always look at uh, reconfiguring uh, your compute. For example, if you notice that the compute is uh, uh, taking, uh, you know, the, the amount of uh, memory and um, the, the size of the virtual machine is not required based on what you uh, realized uh, from the monitoring or from a cost perspective, you can very easily change the configuration into a different one. So you can say, um, I want to increase uh, <clears throat> the size of the virtual machine and, and of course the cost will go up or you might want to reduce uh, the size, the cost might go down. So uh, on the fly, you'll be able to calculate all of that and, you know, um, uh, changing the configuration is as simple as uh, hitting the button and go. Um, the reason why this is uh, grayed out is because another deployment is already happening. So it's going to wait until the deployment uh, is done. And uh, once the previous restore is complete, you'll be able to change the configuration of the virtual machine. By the way, when you change the configuration of the virtual machine, you don't have to really worry about the backup policy that have been created for the platform. Uh, it will be kept um, as and, you know, uh, until you change the policy itself, uh, because the policies are uh, based on the organization uh, governance uh, requirement uh, based on you know, how you want to back up your platforms and so on. So while this is happening, you can also go and take a look at uh, a timeline uh, view uh, of all the releases that have been uh, going on over a period of time. You know, if you want to, for example, go back to the previous uh, version of the application, all you have to do is to go and check. You know, you can see the configuration uh, differences. You can do a live compare uh, of the system and say, hey, you want to go back to uh, the system gives you an ability to uh, deploy your applications, uh, ability to protect and recover your applications, ability to optimize your application cloud infrastructure very, very easily on top of the Google um, Cloud platform. So with that, um, I conclude the demo. Hopefully you got an idea about how a Pranix site reliability platform as a service has been integrated with um, the Google Compute Engine. Thank you.